collage or a sculpture made out of... Found art. Um, yeah, 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 sure. Just have to go. Oh, I just wanted to make sure I get my assignment down. It's online. On a line? Uh, on the site for the class. Do you have a computer? My mom gave me this before she left. Okay, so... There you go. So you have to do this. You go up here and you type in Lambview High School. No spaces? No spaces. Then you just press enter. Wow. Right. Then all you have to do is just click on art. Click on? Yeah, just you move the cursor. Like okay, here. how do I do that? I'll just do it like this. Let's see? And you just press there. What the hell are you doing? Shin was kind enough to give me a ride home from the diner, and he was just teaching me all about uh, the spider web. World wide web. Whatever. We're doing homework. And what are you studying? Biology? What's your problem, Natalie? Are you jealous? <sighs> Jess, I have told you now 20,000 times, Chris and I are divorced. Yeah, I still can't believe you married my boyfriend. And I've also told you that you guys weren't together. Look, that is not me. I don't steal. Oh, tell that to Marty Saber. Okay, okay, time out. You know what? Not until you and I get some things straight. My sister has some issues. Just because I'm happy and you're not? And I think it's maybe a little inappropriate for you to be giving her rides and privately tutoring her? I wasn't tutoring her, Natalie. I, I was just showing her how to look up the assignments I posted online. That's all. Okay, and does Layla know you're here? I'll take that as a no. Natalie, you're out of line. I know why. John McBain? Come home and you're sitting here with your teacher. Oh, please. This is not about that. You know, you may have moved on from my boyfriend. Jessica, come on. Fine. Ex-boyfriend. But you are still hung up on Marnie's boyfriend. And now that she's pregnant with his kid, you know you have no chance with him. And you're taking that out on me and Christian. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Look, can you give me a soda? Me? Please. <sighs> I'm sorry. I know that... Her head's all confused, and she's lost all these years of her life, but I swear, Christian, if you had not gotten her out of this room, I was going to rearrange her face. And I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to snap at you. It's okay. So what's going on? Was Jess right? Is it John McBain? I, I shouldn't have taken my bad mood out on you. I'm just, I'm dealing with a lot of drama, some stuff going on with my brother and Roxy. Everybody okay? Yes and no. But I can't really talk about it. And this thing with John? I ran into him at the hotel, and, and he told me that he and Marty are moving in together. Because she's pregnant, and they're together. So it would seem. And that's great. You know, I'm, I'm happy for them. I am. You know, I mean, it's a screen that they're, they're having a kid. I mean, not that I really ever thought that John would be a father or end up with Marty, for that matter, but what do I know? It bothers you. No. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess it does, a, a little. But it just seems so selfish, you know? Not to wish them well. Right, just as right. Oh my god, I am so jealous. Oh. After Jared died, um, you know, John, he's really been there for me. I mean, whenever I needed him. And I just thought, I thought I could return the favor, and so I hooked up with Brody and sprung him out of jail. And then there was the accident. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was pinned. And and Brody was able to get out. He went to go look for Jess, but then
John and I ended up in this cabin all by ourselves. I mean, I was a little out of it, but the point is, I kissed him. But he kissed me back. And Christian, I... I get, that's all I think about, and I, I know, I know he's with Marty, and I know that they're going to have a kid, and I just, I can't, I can't stop wondering what, what would have happened if Marty didn't get pregnant. Does that make me terrible? No, no, look, that's totally normal. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, thinking about the, uh, what ifs in your life. Is that what's going on with you and Jess? You're just thinking about what might have been? Her thinking that we're both still kids has brought back a lot of memories. Memories of how much we meant to each other. But I have a girlfriend, and I love her. Even though I'm mad as hell at her right now. Why? She found this old letter that I wrote Jess and insisted I throw it away. Did you? I didn't want to, but, you know, it upset her, and I did. But you wanted to hang on? Of course. You know, Jess meant a lot to me. I shouldn't have to throw those memories away. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Here. Just like how you like it. Half soda, half ice. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And Natalie, I I'm really sorry about uh, snapping at you before. I just because I don't remember that I'm your sister, that's no excuse. Do you want some more? No, no, I'm good. I I'm gonna go. Okay, well, I'll see you bright and early with the second coat on those sets. You and the rest of the crew. See ya. Uh, Thank you again. Honey, it's okay. I'll get over him. Please, just because you and John are through does not mean that it's over between Christian and I.